So, this is Maloof in New York. I haven't skated in literally 20 years, no exaggeration. First time hopping back on skates. I would kill for a place like this when I was still skating. Gotta test my abilities first. See if I can still do regular, just move around on it, you know? But just checking out the features here. Nice box. Oh, that's a nice rail. Ledge to grind on. Okay. Can't jump no more. Okay, gotta work on that. It's been a while. <sighs> that's a small little bowl here. I used to grind these stairs before this park was built. Huh. Let me just practice my movements. At my prime, I was able to grind these ledges, no problem. But I gotta start very small and start doing these little curves here. See how it goes. First attempt at trying to lock onto a ledge that's way too short, way too round. It is hard. It used to be so natural. So for those who are new to the channel or my longtime subscribers, before I started mountain biking, I used to be into aggressive inline skating. Aggressive inline skating for the younger viewers used to be like the street skating and the street skateboarding back in the late 90s, mid 90s. So you basically take these modified skates to grind on ledges. I was pretty decent at it. I was skating for about eight years before I stopped when I went to college and I learned to drive. And it almost seemed like skating just died overnight. But lately watching the video on why inline skating died from Jimmy the Giant kind of rekindled or re-sparked my interest in aggressive inline skating. That ledge might have been too round. And this kind of, this got a hard when you edge. see me trying to hop back on skates for the very first time in 20 years as in i've never even put on a pair of skates in 20 years trying to figure out if i still got it if i could still do this type of stuff it lets you take a peek into my psyche or my mindset when i do these things and you can understand why i ride the way i ride and why i love the session and how I am not afraid to fall. I must have fallen more times than I can count. And I got bodied a lot. Basically, nobody else at the skate park fell even once. They went. I'm gonna try doing this one. This one. You don't have to jump as high as the bench. But slowly, but surely, it's starting to like click back to me again. Right now, it probably takes about four attempts to land one grind. And these are like the most basic grinds available. I could used to do a lot of variations. And I would used to lock on about nine out of 10 times. And towards the end of the run today, you could see I'm trying to approach my usual approach speed because I used to fly into these things and grind across the entire ledge. I was also an idiot. I didn't wear any pads back then either. So as I am an old man now, safety is first. So by fall, I probably would break something. So you gotta be able to tumble and roll and disperse that energy in the fall. But that's the input for now, or on the 411 of what's going on. Yes. I can't believe how many tricks I'm learning already. It's only been half hour. Obviously I'm nowhere near as fast. I am nowhere near as smooth. Not as confident. But I probably used to grind this whole area. There you go today. There. But it's not bad. I drew blood already on my finger. Definitely gotta wear protection. Falling on concrete is very different than falling in the dirt. And you can't bail, so you're pretty much done for when you slip or miss.
this is why I was having such a hard time on the first time I grounded. This is a square ledge. Soul plate grinds on easily. This is round. Kept sliding off. Big difference. for now I mean I skated for about an hour first time in 20 years I feel pretty satisfied with the progress I've made I would say kind of feeling it again but man you know with pads it doesn't feel too bad you just gotta tuck and roll but I probably got bodied the most out of everybody in the skate park like literally I'm the only guy tumbling and rolling on the ground but that's it this is a 38 year old going through midlife crisis skating again. Maybe I'll skate again once I get some closed end gloves. I totally destroyed these cheap wrist guards. I need to get some triple eight ones. Again, the only uh, blood that it drew was on my fingertips that exposed and missing my knee a little bit. But. Here's what the skates look like after a day at the skate park, missing everything. And I forgot to add another beautiful thing about modern skates is you can actually change the liners. I already broke these in, they had a few pressure points, but all it took was one ride and they're all broken in. They feel just like my old OG Majestics now. That's it. See you guys around.